Okay. Welcome to the studio vlog, everyone. The August studio vlog. I'm very excited to start this one because I'm going to be doing studio vlogs now because I have a production company and I love watching content of other people's studio vlogs and like as someone who's a filmmaker you don't really see a lot of filmmaker ones unless you follow filmmakers and so yes this is my new studio vlog um welcome this month is going to be pretty interesting I'm very excited I am getting my I'm getting the premiere ready for my documentary and I actually am producing a short film which I'm like very excited about because it was very very last minute and it's for a short film festival called the Dream Store Festival in Columbus Ohio it's um, the second annual one which is going to be at 934 gallery I think in Franklinton and so I was like I can make a short film in two weeks like I could do it I have been so stuck in the whole process of like trying to prepare, trying to get ready to film and stuff and never really actually seek out filming and seek out the process of getting a film together. And so if I'm if I have a production company, that's what I'm gonna do. And so yeah, I'm producing, writing, directing, and starring in this short film called Breaking News. It is very funny. The logline of the film is basically a Awkward but passionate news correspondent breaks a story that's near and dear to her heart. Now, the story really depends on this newscaster, which I'm very excited about. I'll be playing her. Her character's name is Joy Martin. And so I'm very excited about it. And so I, I'm getting I'm getting that underway. And so right now it is Thursday, August 11th, and it's almost 11 a.m. I'm currently working from home today. And so I like also work from home vlogs and so it's pretty chill um, my official role is I'm a customer service coordinator at a promotional marketing agency and so while I have some downtime right now I am actually going to do stuff for the company which I'm like so excited basically I do videography and I'm currently producing a little web series um, with the company and basically it stars our HR director interviewing new members of the company and getting to know them and so um I've worked with the director of creative who is asking me to change some things according to the new branding and so that is what I'm going to do. I'm also going to show you what I'm eating. Right now I have a some grapes of course I freaking love grapes everyone knows that and then I have a ham and cheese sandwich and then I have the most awesome smoothie combo strawberry banana and mango smoothie. Look at it! It's so nice. It's pink. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So good. Mmm. Yeah. So that was what I'm up to this morning. Um, I'm probably gonna get some writing done later on my lunch. And so yeah, I'm very excited. Like I'm very excited to be filming this vlog, so. Don't mind the hair, I was laying on the couch. It's kind of messed up, but I would like to show you something. Ta-da! We have a couch! We have a couch. Obviously, um, it's a little messed up. Also, my fiance's mom is here with us over the weekend, so that's her stuff. And so now, here are the flowers that I got from Trader Joe's. I think these two are kind of the filler ones. And then these are baby's breath. And honestly, I kind of got it because for one, I wanted to make myself a little bouquet. 
flowers because you know I think it'd be kind of cute like I love that shit so like why not and I'm including this in my studio vlog because I feel like I am being creative right now this is being creative and so that makes me happy so here's the food so um I've never done this before so please don't judge me because I think what I'm gonna do is just take out like a couple of branches at a time. I don't know if that's not the And so oh. Alright, so today we're gonna have a, a whole agenda. Um, it's literally three o'clock since I started filming. We went to breakfast this morning and got, we went to another Broken Egg Cafe at Easton in Columbus. It was pretty good. I kind of give it a six out of 10 only because the food wasn't hot and like, the food was good. It just wasn't hot. And we waited so long and then we got booted out of the wait list because I didn't respond the first time so I've added this back on. And so that was kind of annoying. And then we checked out, you know, like how every major store has like their own like state store, like Ohio store. So we checked that out too. And then literally when I got home, I laid on the freaking couch. I almost fell asleep. And then Niall and his mom went to a Reds game. And so that's where they're at right now. My hair's a little busted because I have the windows down and I was laying on my hair, so. But, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna do a nice cute little time lapse and we're gonna make this bouquet. I'm excited! I did too bad. Now the question is, should I put this by the TV or should I put this by the door? It's just the direct sunlight, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of shitty in this apartment, so I have to show you my business cards! So that's what the front looks like. Intuitive Mind Studios. These cards are pretty nice. I like them. I think the only change that I would make is actually putting, instead of a phone number, my email that's what i should have done is put um intuitive my studios at gmail.com once i get my website up and running definitely going to start giving these out because i'm gonna work on my website today not uh, i'm probably gonna work on it honestly like almost like every day like that's my goal and so now um we're done with that we're going to do some work now. It's like three o'clock. Honestly, my main goal is to cut the take, uh, Taking Charge trailer, work on um, pre-production stuff for breaking news. My goal is to get the breakdown set up, shooting schedule, prop list, everything set up so I can get that sent out tomorrow morning. Then I wanna go to Lowe's, get my mail key copied, and then go to Kohl's to get some skincare essentials. Um, I'm debating if I want to look for chairs. I kind of do, but I kind of don't at the same time. Like, not really too sure, but yeah. It's kind of interesting because I 
I'm doing the short film and you know I, I want to do it and I have to get things going and it's kind of like really hard not to like fake out and be like oh I'm not doing it anymore like I'm not doing it like what's the point of a production company like I know I'm gonna get things done by myself like that's what I signed up for or that's the reason why I have the company in the first place and so I am mean, oddly enough I talked about this with my therapist about like the whole fear of failure and why I feel like I can't do it why I feel like I quit things so easily and it's like I don't know why I fear failure when I have failure when I have so much successes in my life like are you delusional and I think it is I think it's kind of that and so like I'm watching this video about you don't have to quit everything you don't have to you don't have to hate it you don't have to quit everything by Elizabeth something I'm pretty sure she's Ali Abdul's personal assistant unless she doesn't have that job anymore yeah like it's very interesting like I'm listening and I'm just like literally there's been so many things you know like like people say like when the universe just drops stuff or like I forget what it is but it's kind of like those connections by the universe that you just see constantly and you weren't looking for them I feel like that's happening right now because the way I've been seeing a lot of stuff related to filmmaking related to accepting failure trying to take your failure and spin it into a learning lesson about the aspects of just doing the damn thing like a lot of these things are like very like back to back to back to back to back and i'm just kind of like okay the universe is trying to tell me like joan you already started you this is what you need to do like keep it going and it's kind of exciting like i don't know it's kind of exciting and so I'm very excited about it and so we're gonna do some work I'm debating if I want to put YouTube on the background but at the same time like I want to be focused on my work so I think I might just put on some music yeah that's the vibe right now so yeah I'm living this life with a different attitude don't flip don't trip keeping up the good mood cooking up some good food my friends in the street yeah people want to chill they can come and speak to me cause, cause all you gotta do is just ask cause we can always get another class got trip got swag got class just roll another one then puff puff pass pop the trunk get the brakes stop the gas when i'm sitting with my friends it's all smiles and laughs and i'm thinking that i'm drunk in the bathroom mirror just to get a clearer vision i'm a man on the mission there's a girl outside with a name like the sea it's just how she is yeah it's just how she be Got a bowl full of drinks and a bowl full of weed Topped up on vibes, yeah, it's lovely to see, yeah She's the best that's at the party Looking for an after party Even though we just started trying to shoot like James Harden Everybody dancing in the garden Make it feel like time style Got the perfect bad job, yeah She's the best that's at the party Looking for an after party Even though we just started trying to shoot like James Harden Everybody dancing in the garden Make it feel like time style Got the perfect bad job I was like, whenever my hairdresser like takes pictures of me for her Instagram after she does my hair, I like try to like look right into the camera. <laughs> She's like, stop doing that. Okay. okay. I wish okay. I had hair so I could be like, yeah, girl. You know what's funny? It's the fact that you don't have hair. You should still do that. <laughs> we'll try after this take. I'll be doing that all the time. I'll be like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, like. Okay. Perfect composition. Okay. That's not stopping people from enjoying activities like swimming and barbecues. Burgers and deli sandwiches are people's go-to. Was he on American Idol? Yeah. Okay. I was like, how did he get his fame? Okay, so we're going to catch up. Trigger warning. Dive right in. Dive right in. I feel like we should start off. I guess we didn't really like game plan like exactly what we're talking about. Well, I kind of just wrote like. I feel like we should t first talk about the book, our thoughts on the book. Obviously, you know, talk about Jeanette's experience. Talk about maybe give her a rating or review of on it. Like yeah. we give it like a five out of five, like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Talk about our favorite parts. Talk about parts that broke our heart. Um, and, and then we talk about. 
we liaison into our own. Yes. I um the podcast episode is maternal melodrama. I think that's too good. I yeah. don't like that's too good. Maybe I've been going nowhere lately. It's time to start all over and go for it. Cause they don't even, they don't even know me yet. But that's something I don't regret. Every night I close my eyes and see. Only having to dreams, baby. What can 